Welcome to Rope Solo Lead Climbing with Grigri and after that we reclimb the pitch with two pulleys, micro traction and Edelrid Spock. In this movie I show you how I do that. Rope Solo Lead Climbing is very dangerous. Here I have my Alpine Sander rope from Mammut and this is the anchor I built. This is uh, an Abalakov with the butterfly and the figure eight. Before you climb, you have to think about the pitch. Is the rope long enough for the pitch? I have 50 meters and one way is 25 meters and this is enough. Then you have to carry a much stuff. Four ice screws and four quick rolls on this side. And on this side, I have three quick draws and three ice screws. Now you take the other end from the rope, make a knot, and fill the end in your rucksack. The first 25 meters, you don't need safety knots important that the rucksack you the rucksack must be open so the rope can fill out very good now here comes the middle of the rope and before that I do my first safety knot this is a Sackstich a simple knot now this rope is your climbing rope and you have to do safety knots about all two meters these are your backup knots when the grigri don't work you have knots here this is my anchor and here goes the rope to the rucksack now i can carry on the rucksack Now you take the rope from the rucksack over your shoulder and under your rucksack sink here. So the rope pulls out that. Until the first knot is coming and this knot you can open really easy with one hand and it's a really secure knot. Have you seen that? This is my system for rope solo climbing with the pulleys. Here I have a beaner, and here I have a beaner, a twisted beaner, and you have two ropes there. So this system I use for rope solo lead climbing as well. The right beaner here, I take with the Grigri. This is my Grigri. I only did that. This is a rope that the Grigri is always in the up position when I climb. Take the rope from the anchor, fill the Grigri in and this goes to the right beaner here. Close the beaner. Now the Grigri is in position. If you flip your first quick draw, the Grigri will catch you. But this solution here over the shoulder is not optimal yet. The rope must go down. So I take the other beaner from my rope system and clip it in. So the Grigory is always higher than this beaner. I can pull out rope now and the Grigri blocks easier that way when the rope is going down. Again, this is my anchor, goes to the quick draw, into the Grigri, and the Grigri blocks if I fall. The rope should go down to another beaner at your harness. I like it in the middle because the rope is then in the middle of your feet. Before I climb, I bring now my Grigri in position with my little rope here. 
take this, put it in, and the Grigory is in up position. I'm looking here for good eyes for my first screw. This is important. You have to take the rope from below the Grigri and clip in. So now I can sit in and test the screw and my system. And there is my anchor and I'm catching here on my first screw. Now I have to look for the second place. Alright, I do here a slip knot and take the slack out of the system. Before I climb on, I have to watch my rope, pull enough slack out. This is the next safety knot here, I can undo with one, one hand. Now give me enough slack now. It's still enough slack. And here I place another screw. Take the rope from beyond and clip in. All right. This is a nice spot for another screw. Now the Grigory is blocking here. I didn't give slack. All right. Nice spot here. Very nice, secure screw. Slip knot here, take out the slack of the system. Safety knot here, give you slack for the next pitch to the next screw. Watch your pitch and think what you do.
Easy peasy to undo. Very nice. One. This is one frame. This is the middle mark. And now I have the other string that I, I make. For top rope climbing you need two beaner in the opposite direction. And here I have two strings. So I can reclimb this pitch with my pulley. Lucky me, I didn't make knots in the second half rope. Rope! Now I have two beaners, two figure eight, two rope separate, and now I can repel. This was Rogue Solo Lead Climbing. I hope you enjoyed this movie and I can help you. I do Rogue Solo Lead Climbing only if I have to do. When there is a way you can walk around, you should do that and uh, you should climb rope solo with uh, two pulleys. That's much more safer. Uh, my aim is always to set a top rope and reclimb with two pulleys. Climb rope lead climbing better with your friend. It's much more fun. This is another downside of rope solo lead climbing with Grigri, quick draw and ice screws. You have to carry on much more stuff. And this you should have always with you. This is a rope safer over ages. You never know how it looks like there and you need a rope protector for rope solo climbing. And why you should use an Abalakov for your bottom anchor? It's because it is a stronger and it's because you don't need much stuff. If you think uh, you need here two screws, you have to carry on two screws. So that's the easiest way to make an anchor. If you walk around and climbing top rope solo with two pulleys, it's much more easier. Rope solo climbing, how fast you can set up at the bottom. Take the pulley, Close the system, that's important. One is set. Take the micro traction. Take another pulley, not the same pulley. To have more security like this. This is a steel beaner. Close the system. Check the system. Both systems are closed. And check it with the job. I'm safe now. This is my rope solo setup. I can take the rope, fill in, take my system here. Important that the system is horizontal. And here I have my pencil micro traction. Take the other rope. I have two ropes separated. Each rope is tied in with a figure eight at the top. This is the way it looks like and it's much more fun than rope lead climbing with the Greek grip. At this level I take, I make supper knots. 
need rope for my safety. With this system you can climb very hard because you're safe. Very, very beautiful. Woo. And now I can fall in and that's the fall. And that's the reason why these teeth are not bad for the rope. You don't have such uh, an impact. Wow, oh, this style is fat then. Woo! You would never stand on this if you lead climb. I mean if you lead climb rope solo. For now, I'm safe with two ropes and I can enjoy my route. Check this out! Woo. Oh, this guy! Strike! And to be fast at the top, this beam here, very good, very fast. Clean a lot of this here. Other leg beaner. Easy peasy. I know now on this pitch I don't have to take out screws or anything. I can only upsell down. And for this season I ta take the Edelit Gigajoule in auto block modus. If you lift up here, goes down and this is the blocking system but never lose your hand here blocking blocking How do you climb this pitch with less power and good ice technique? I'll show you that. Watch your next step. I take this there. Hips out. Feet up even. Stand up. Hips in, swing, release, watch and rest. I want to take the next ledge there. Hips out, feet up, feet up even. Stand up, swing, nice, and now I'm with one hand, release the other tool and watch and rest, take the next reach there, hips out. Feet up even, stand up, swing, release, rest, watch, hips out, feet up even, 
swing. It's not good. Do another swing. On this side it's good. And now I'm in this horizontal here. And now I have to go to the other horizontal from the right ice tool. So I release my tool here. Watch first my next swing. Keeps out and I feed up in the direction under my front tool. Stand up, hips in, swing. Rest, release, watch. There is a, a nice hole there. Hips out, feet up even. I'm centered with the tool. Take it out, swing, release, rest, watch, hips out, feet up even, center to the tool, swing, nice. And I'm here now and I have to go to my tool. So release, watch. Then I take this blow here, feet up even, that's too less, so I can feed up more steps here. Nice. So when I don't release the tool, I have, I have a problem when I swing. So I release now my tool. I'm hanging straight on my arm here. I release now my tool a, a little bit. It's still, it's still using my tool. Now I'm resting here in a good position on my arm and on my legs. The feet is not optimal, optimal because they're not even so I take a step up here, so that's much more better here. So my English is shit now, but <laughs> uh, now uh, there is no place for, for swing. So I take now this tool and take my other hand. And now that's a really good position. Very easy to stand. Take my other tool with the other hand. Now I feed up first a little bit and take my tool out now. And I can watch this re here where I have to swing. No swing. That's good. Hips out. Feet up even. Stand up. So that's good eyes here. Right through. <laughs> this tool is good. Release this tool and I want to swing there. Hips out. Feet up even. Swing. Release. Watch. Feet up even, swing, release, rest. So this is shitty ice, I go in this way. Move up to the right a little bit here. 
take my tool in the mouth. Take it to the right hand and swing. Nice. Release. Feet up even. Swing. Release. Feet out. Watch your next step here. And your next swing. I want to swing there. Feet up to this tool. Swing. Release. Swing. Release. Hips out. Feet up center. Swing. So, this process is very nice. And you can climb steep ice with less power. It's fun, it's really fun.